Times Square got a pink makeover on October 6th as the fifth annual Pink Party kicked off Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Hundreds of people, including breast cancer survivors, came out to support the cause and raise money. There was a raffle where 100% of the proceeds go to benefiting Coleman Southern New England. The event included dance performances, live music, and even a fashion show where breast cancer survivors donned clothing donated from local West Hartford shops. WHCTV caught up with some of the vendors, coordinators, and survivors who shared why they thought it was important to support this event. I am representing Gail Toyota at the Pink Party. Uh, we've had cancer in our family, in our dealership. Uh, we've had co-workers, so we have come here. This is the second year for us here at the Pink Party, and we like to come down here and show our support for the community. The car is um, something that we like to do because we like to see how excited people get to be able to write a little something on the car, a little I love you to their loved ones, or just a, I've been fighting for 15 years and it feels really good, and yay for me, you know, and so they put it on the car and it makes them feel good. Even if it's just for a few seconds, it's worth it to us to bring the car down and let people sign it. And it looks like the community here in West Hartford comes out and they enjoy it, so uh, I think we should keep doing it. We'll be here next year. Yeah. I just thought it would be good to get out with the community, you know, give back and hopefully help for what we can do. That was our goal. Hopefully bring business to Bubak Square. I'm the publisher and editor-in-chief of the Hartford Current Media Group. And we're one of the organizers of this event. We're very proud to be part of this. This is an awesome event that brings together all sorts of organizations and people from across Hartford. And I think you can just see by how many people have come here today, how many people are touched by breast cancer. I think, I think when you see the people standing up there on the stage celebrating, you realize that this is an opportunity to celebrate life and not fear the disease. And that's a really important thing when you're battling illnesses like cancer. This is an opportunity for a community to come together and say we celebrate. And it's so important to have that community support. Um, people go through these uh, terrible moments in their lives and sometimes they feel like they're alone. When you have an event like this, when West Hartford comes together as a community, people don't feel like they're alone anymore. I'm here because I'm a two-year survivor of breast cancer. And this is my best friend, Kimberly. Of over 35 years. 35 years we've been friends. And she had breast cancer and I watched her go through everything. And Almost I said, I, six years survivor. And I said, I could never go April. through what you were going through. And I end up with breast cancer. See that? But she did it. I did. She was afraid, but she got courageous. Because that was the only option was to fight, right? So and that's what we did. So we're here celebrating survival and here to support everyone that didn't survive and that will go through it eventually or soon or is going through it now. So we just want to pick And we're here for a support of yes. everyone. We heard about it like a few years ago and this year was the first time I said, you know what, let's go. So we'll be here every year after this. So we're looking forward to it. It was wonderful, it was inspirational, it was uplifting, it was great. So we're definitely gonna do it again.